Okay, so today is Sunday the, what is it today? I'm looking at the calendar. Is it the 16th? Yes, it is. I have been at work all day. Um, but, sorry, I've got the kettle boiling, which is nice. I've been at work all day. Um, and then, you know, I said to you at the end of the vlog yesterday, well, like last week, <laughs> um, that I was going to, um, do that Christmas market thing. We didn't do that in the end because the Christmas market was not a Christmas market. Banger Christmas market has a lot to be desired, let me tell you. It was shit. <laughs> like, it wasn't Christmassy at all, it was just the same market that they usually have. So, um, sorry, I'm like trying to come to the spot. So I've come home, um, we stopped at the range to get some light shades, but I'm not gonna put those in until tomorrow because it's dark. Um, but we needed and a few bits and bobs like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't a Christmas market, it wasn't even worth showing you, and it was pissing me down with rain, so my little wristbands were walking around anyway. But I came home, put my sweatshirt on, tied my hair up because it needs washing anyway. Um, and I'm gonna just put away some of my shopping. It was one of those weird mornings this morning where when I got up, I didn't have to be at work till a bit later, but I did have to edit a video. So I had to do that and then upload it and stuff. Um, and also I, um, we had a shopping delivery that was due to arrive at two while Paul was home, but then it didn't, it just arrived early and like I was trying to get ready and it arrived and stuff. That's why my kitchen looks like this. We've still got stuff that we need to put away. So I'm gonna do that now, make some tea. Um, and I've, I did, I, ordered like bits and bits of like Christmas stuff so like Christmas food and that kind of thing like here for example not the water bottle of but these if you had these they're amazing um, and they were reduced and some crackers and snacks and bits and bobs like that um, so I need to put some of those away right now so I finished doing all of the um putting the shopping, well I didn't, wasn't putting it away, I probably put it away but I needed to rearrange it in the fridge because it wasn't how I liked it. Um, but I um, stood leaning on the radiator right now because it's bloody freezing today. It's been such crappy weather here, it's rained so much and it's almost like there's not been daylight for days, it's crap. Um, but I'm just going to heat up some dinner. I made a really big like vegetable lasagna type of thing. I, like I had made one for me that had like peppers and courgettes and stuff in it that was really nice. And I made Paul a meat one. Um, and then I put some of it in the freezer for days where we just kind of couldn't be bothered. So that's what we're having tonight. Um, I'm going to heat some of that up for us in a moment. Which I'm really looking forward to actually. It'll be really yummy. Um, lasagna is one of those things as well, it's better when it's like not just freshly made I think. So that's, um, yeah, that's quite, quite exciting, I'm looking forward to that. And then afterwards I'm going to have a bath, I'm going to have a proper proper pamper, I haven't had one all week. I literally, I haven't even showed my legs this week, which is unlike me, but I literally just haven't had a minute. So I'm definitely, definitely going to do that and I'll show you what I put in my bath and that kind of thing because I'm going to have a proper chill. So bath time it is, and I'm so excited. I mixed it for my bubble bath. I put a tiny bit of this um, Magic Organic Apothecary Green Bath Potion and a tiny bit of this, because I like the bubbles. Um, and this is kind of Christmassy. And I'm burning my Bath and Body Works candle, and I'm burning this new um, Peony Blush candle. And I'm going to give myself a mini facial because my skin definitely, definitely needs it. But I'll show you that after I've done it. So what products I used for my kind of pamper session? I used the Your Good Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser to cleanse. Then I exfoliated with this Super Drug Exfoliator. It's not very good. I'm trying to use it up. Um, then I used the Lush Mask of Magnum Minty to try and sort out my spottiness. Then I used, um, I actually, I didn't bring that. Let me just get it. Hold on. Oh, I just saw my hand, that ruined the magic. Um, I did use this afterwards as well, because I just had a bit of hydration. Then I used those super drug um, glycolic pads, then spritzed with that. Then I used some of the glycolic overnight peel, that always sorts my skin right out, it kind of gets in there and just evens all my texture issues. And then I used that instead of a moisturizer. Um, and then on my body, I used the Lush Sleepy Body Lotion. So. I feel really like nice and pampered now. I shaved my legs and I feel like a new woman. Hey, 
Hey, so I'm starting the vlog on a Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the 18th. Um, I've been at work all day. I've just got in. I went to Home Bargains on my lunch as well and I've got a couple of bits. I went to, not on my lunch actually, I did that on my way home. I went to M&S on my lunch and got a few bits. So I'll show you what I got from M&S in a minute. Um, and I'm just sorting some dinner out because Paul cooked dinner last night. I didn't vlog last night, yesterday at all actually. Because um, I was literally just cleaning and getting stuff around the house done. And I had loads of phone calls and stuff to do. And I don't know, the day just escaped me. Um, but I've come home and gotten changed into my comfy clothes. And Paul's actually playing um, online on the PlayStation with somebody today, um, this evening. So after dinner, I'm going to get into bed and I'm going to watch a movie by myself. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, but I'll show you what I got from Home Bargains. I basically went in there because I had to get a few bits and bobs of stocking fillers for people still. Um, so I'll show you what I've got. So I got another one of these in there because I've already got one and I just love the shape of them and I didn't have the grey one and I fancied the grey one and um, I really really like the light, how the light looks in here. So I got that, I got this hand wash, kind of Jo Malone inspired, a refill of this because I needed one and I've got a festive scent. Um, we always do Pringles in our stockings for some reason, it's something that my mum's always done. So I've got to pull these ones to try because I thought maybe I'd like them um, and I got my mum these ones um then i got one of these to go upstairs it's just one of those like centered plug-in things i need to have a look how to use that actually um then i got my mum this to go in her stocking that's really nice actually um i got paul that just because boy stuff in stockings it's hard um and i'll show you what i've put in his stocking in a minute actually i got him a packet of those not for christmas just because he's obsessed with them and he didn't have any at home so I bought him that. Um, I got this to go in my mum's stocking, some red wine, and I bought this, which I'm aware is really funny, okay, but it was 99p and sparklicious. I had to do it. And I bought three bottles of this from M&S today. It was actually on offer for three, for four pounds. It's the Clementine and Cranberry Bucks Fizz, and it's delicious. And isn't that packaging beaut? So it's nine o'clock. I'm in bed. I've got some M&Ms over there, um, and I am going to watch, I think I've decided, The Holiday, because it's on Netflix, and I fancy something Christmassy, and I haven't watched it in a while, and I have got my fireplace on, candle lit, the candle looks my bed lit, my fairy lights on, I've got the electric blanket on. And I'm going to watch this on my own, even though I think Paul said he was doing something and he was going to come and watch a little bit of it with me in a moment. Um, so, let me find the holiday. I, I love having you evenings like this, actually, sometimes. <laughs> We're just like chilling and trending now. The holiday. Per That's me for tonight. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh my god, it's a long film. So this is an hour and fifty, two hours and fifteen. It's gotta be a short film. Like That's really long. I need to get to bed at eleven. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch some of it. I'll watch all of it. I've actually decided. I'm not a fan of the holiday. Me and my sister were talking about this the other day and she was saying that she used to really like it but now she finds it really cringe and yeah, same. Love Actually is heaps and heaps and heaps better. It's too kind of Hollywood and how it's filmed is annoying and the dialogue's a bit silly. But Jude Law. Jude Law, when he wears his glasses with his sexy Jude Law voice is just great. Hey, so today is, what day are we today? Today is Wednesday um, and I've just got home a bit later today and it's all been a bit manic today but um, I'm going to sort some dinner out and also random thing that happened today. I was asked the other week if I wanted to be involved in, sorry, I'm going to have to eat a little piece of cheese because I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything since like 11 o'clock. I'm just eating a bit of feta cheese. Um, I was asked if I, I could be involved in Amanda Knox's programme called The Scarlet Letter. The Scarlet Letter Diaries? 
scarlet letter something and I'll put I'll link it down below anyway um if they could use a bit of the video I did on the Tess Holiday Cosmo cover so I said yes and um went live today on their Facebook page it's really really cool I, I was a bit unsure at first because I thought it was a bit controversial but I'm actually really glad I did it and um yeah I'll link that down below if you want to have a look at it because it's quite exciting so that's all that's been going on today really I'm gonna cook some dinner just gonna do some vegetables and some rice to show you the other way it's a staple but the other week it's a staple dinner in our house um I did have red lipstick on today but I took it off as soon as I get it I got in because I I need to do um but yeah I am gonna cook some dinner now and then I will show you a few other bits I need to show you the stocking thing don't I we haven't done advent calendar in a little while have we so let's do that oh my nails in case you were wondering i'll link it below but it's an opi color with some random poundland glitter it's kind of ridiculously extra but i like it Ooh, what is this oh it's the cleansing water from that range um oh i really like this range they've got that gel moisturizer that's really good as well Ooh. That's actually a really decent travel size with a spritz. Oh man, that's really good. Okay, I also wanted to show you a couple of bits of blogger mail that came in the post today from Lavish Skin. So it's these hair vitamins and minerals for your hair and your skin. Looking forward to trying that actually. Um, and this, which is the teeth whitening polish. I don't know I said polish in a weird accent like that. Mmm. Clinically proven. After brushing your teeth with toothpaste, dip a spare clean dry toothbrush into the polish and coat generously. Brush gently and take the motions for two minutes after use. Rinse mouth and toothbrush well with cold water, removing excess water and ensure that the toothbrush is dry prior to the next application. I'm gonna do that every night and let's see. Let's actually see what the packaging of this looks like. Hold on. This looks really, really interesting. I've never seen Ooh! comes in like a big pot like that. Let me open it, hold on. It's black. How weird is that? It actually smells like mint though. It smells nice. Hmm, that's really cool. Let me try that. I didn't close it properly. Let me try it. Oh, and I've dropped it something. What am I like? Hi, oh, my camera's a bit blurry, isn't it? Today is um, Thursday. Um, and I've just got back from work, hence my makeup. Um, but I don't know what I've got to vlog today. It's, I've just been on the phone and stuff. We've got like a bit of a family emergency thing going on. Two different kind of shitty things that have happened today. My brother's away traveling in Cambodia and Thailand and stuff at the moment. And he had his wallet stolen, so that's been fun. And my sister, um, has got a medical condition that just doesn't seem to be being fixed and so we're trying to sort of like deal with that and get that sorted and it's just not being sorted and now it's looking like she's going to have to go into hospital for them to look into it and it's just so so shit and like worrying and just crappy for this time of year but um yeah, I'm not feeling it today. I'm just making some dinner. I'm just trying some cherry tomatoes to just help with some pasta and just shoving it together because I'm too blah to do anything else. Um, I still haven't shown you that stocking. I need to. I made some dinner, but that's how much I've managed to manage to actually eat it. I was too concerned and stressed to eat it, which is a shame because it looks quite nice, but I just. No, no appetite. So I'm sat in the bedroom, <laughs> in the spare room, um, on the bed, because I'm putting some washing away. I've had a shower, put some fake tan on, given myself bikini wax, which is TMI, but it was overdue and I just felt so disgusting. <laughs> and I feel like nice and fresh and clean and new now. Um, but I need to dry my hair, which we all know is one of the most hated tasks in my life. Um, that is my Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar just because I like the way it looks. <laughs> um, but what have I come up here to do? 
I am so disorientated today. I I put a wash, well, like, Paul put a wash on downstairs. And then I went in to put it on spin again, because we usually do that, because for some reason washing doesn't dry very quickly in this house. So <laughs> I put it on an extra spin, except I didn't. And I bloody washed it again, and it's in the middle of the programme now, so it won't change. So I'm going to have to wait for that to finish. Oh, I, wanna just, I wish I could go like that. My hair would be dry and I could just go to bed. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in here now that I've tidied the spare room a little bit though. I won't, well, I won't show you now because I want to show you when it's just like all perfect and nice. Let's put some batteries in those fairy lights on the bed, but other than that. Um, but I'm going to show you what I've put in Paul's stocking. Fingers crossed he doesn't come upstairs. Um, right, so we always have Pringles in our stocking. It's our thing. And I bought him the Christmas dinner, Prosecco and pink peppercorn. I don't know if he'll like these. To be honest, I just saw the Christmas dinner bit and I thought they were Christmas dinner flavoured, but I don't know. He probably will. He's not picky with crisps. Um, I bought him this. I feel like he did point it out and say that he likes it, but it's a soap and a rope. It's a Stormtrooper one because he's a bit geeky like that. Um, I get these. He likes these and he never buys them. They're these salt and vinegar flavoured crisp things. They are actually quite nice if you like really salt and vinegary things, which I do. Chocolate wise, loads and loads of the Maltese are like bunny things. There are three of them and four baby ones. A dairy milk snowman. A, a packet of mints because they're his favourite. Um, this is, what is this? It's a keychain, it's a flathead screwdriver, it's a Phillips screwdriver, and it's a bottle opener for him to put in his keys. This is actually really cool and really useful. I think that's a good thing. Um, the Body Shop Beard Care Kit, which is really cute. Car air freshener shaped like Thor. I was looking at it thinking it doesn't look like Thor. Thor to me just looks like Chris Hemsworth. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then I did this, which I thought was a really cool thing. I ordered these little fragrance samples from the um, Phil Unique Pick and Mix thing. Just as little stocking fillers, because I thought it was nice. So this is the Isamiyaki, um, which is his favourite usual one, the original one. But this one is the um, Lou blah 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 blah. I'm not going to pretend like I, like I can say it. But it says that it's salty wood. So many weird connotations you could go with that. Um, Berber, Mr. Burberry Indigo. When we first met, he always used to wear a Burberry fragrance that I didn't like, but that one's nice. He doesn't wear that one anymore. Um, Givenchy Gentleman and Armani Diamonds for Men. So, yeah, that's the contents of his stocking. He's made me one, actually, this year, which he doesn't usually because we sleep at my mum's and my mum makes me one and I kind of thought that I didn't need But we're sleeping here now and we're going to go to my mum's in the morning um so i'm looking forward to seeing what he's put in mine i bet it'll be good because he's a good present buyer but that's what's in here and his stocking this is this one there's my laundry um from home bargains so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna have a cup of tea and i'm gonna have a little bit of this chocolate orange because i feel like i need it slash deserve it hi so today is Friday the, I'm looking at the calendar, 21st, no it's not, is it, is it the 21st today, oh it is, oh my god, I don't even know where time's going, um, and it's like 8 o'clock and we have just come back from doing our Christmas food shop, we went after I finished work, so that was a bit manic, um, that's why I look the way that I look. Um, I've got like a super glittery eye going on. I actually stuck glitter on this morning because I thought it would be fun. But I need to put all of this shopping away right now. All of that. Find room for it in the freezer. Um, and do um, some of the bits and bobs. And then tomorrow I'm going to have to sort the house out and stuff when I come back. Um, what else? I don't know. It's been a bit of a manic day today, but I really need to get this shopping put away first things first. I thought I'd show you as well. I've just created this little kind of corner in the hallway. There wasn't anything on that wall, so I've just put that painting there. I don't particularly like it, but it was one that we had. And this little kind of stool 
with a cute little reed diffuser tart burner that I'm going to fill and that and then in the corner here I've popped the bean bag that was in my room um laundry basket painting bean bag and I need to go something I need to find something to hang there but I don't know like what yet um and I'll show you the spare room so ignoring the laundry and the bed but I've just put a few bits there few bits there we've still got some cardboard boxes that's actually stuff that needs to go to the restaurant that we haven't got anywhere to put um until they just finish the floor so that's where it is i've got washing on here that i'm that i'm gonna put away um but i've made the bed and it, it kind of it looks okay in here it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but it'll do and those lights from uh were from that are on the bed are actually just like bell lights that were from home bargains they're really light actually really nice like they give off a hell of a lot of light so it's 10 o'clock now and i'm in bed um and paul's gonna come and get in bed in a moment in a minute as well am i gonna watch something christmasy even though i really should be going to sleep soon but by the time i got in um it was like eight o'clock and then i had to put all the shopping away and we had a few other bits we needed to do and um Open some packages and stuff, and then I had a shower, and then I did some washing and bits and bobs like that. That we kind of just want to just sit down and just watch something and just chill for a bit. So the options are, I'll show you. So I've got some stuff recorded on our Sky Planet, some like Christmas movies, just that were on, just so I thought we could choose between. So National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I have seen this, but not for a very long time. Paul really likes it, so that's why that's there. Bed Santa, not that keen on. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, I love. And Christmas with the Cranks, which I've never seen and don't think Paul's seen either. So that'll be interesting. And also on Netflix, there's one called Deck the Halls, but we're not watching that because it's long. It's just crazy how quick the time goes. Like, that, it's just crazy that it is literally nearly Christmas. It's Friday today. I've got, for some reason, I keep thinking I've got two more days at work and I haven't. I've got three, um, which kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, I'll be at work all day tomorrow, which will be really manic and busy. Then when I get home, I'm going to sort the house out and just, like, hoover and do some bits and bobs like that um but on sunday i don't have to be at work till a little bit later so that's fine that's quite nice um and then i finish at four paul's mum will be here in the evening we'll have some dinner blah 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 i need to wash my hair on sunday that's the only thing um what else do i need to do I can't remember what else I need to do. Stuff. Anyway. Um, and then on Monday night, which is Christmas Eve, I'll finish work at 5.30. And then I will come back and we're going to get some Chinese food. And just chill. I'll put the presents in bags ready to go to my mum's in the morning. And then we need to put my mum's for 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. Which will be nice. It'll be nice to have for all of us to be together, actually. Um, you can come in. I'm only filming. I won't film you, don't worry. Are you very tired as well? Yeah, it's just fast. Mm, cool. Right, I'm going to tell you what our movie options are, okay? So, either National Lampoons... Or Christmas with the Cranks, because they're the two shortest options. Other than that, we've got Home Alone 2, which is the New York one, which I like. And we've got Bad Santa, which I'm not that fussed about. And there's that one on Netflix that I want to watch, the one with Danny DeVito, but that's long, so we're not watching that one now. Maybe we'll watch that one tomorrow, if we get organised tomorrow. National Lampoons, I knew you were going to say that. I was telling them literally a minute ago how you like that. Hi, so today is Saturday, last day of Vlogmas number 
four um, and I've just got in um, we're gonna just eat something quickly and then I'm gonna get on with tidying up a little bit because Paul's mum's coming to stay tomorrow um, and I'm at work so I'm gonna do bits <laughs> and bobs around the house that I want to do he can do other bits that he needs to do tomorrow um, I've got to do some washing, I've got to edit this vlog, so I've got a bunch of stuff to do and I would like to ideally have a bath at some point this evening. So I'm hoping to be able to shove that in somewhere. But um, once I've got everything nice and clean, I'm gonna feel so much better because I feel like I'm so rushed. But um, I'll show you bits and bobs as I'm going. So last advent calendar for this vlog. Oh, oh, this looks like a good one. This is I actually love this moisturiser. It's the gel moisturiser from that um, that range. I used this all summer and it was really good, so that's really, really good. Yay! Anyone else make like cute little bowls like this with chocolate to just go in the living room? But I'm only making it now because otherwise it doesn't stay in there for two minutes because Paul just proceeds to eat all of the Maltesers. So hopefully this lasts couple of days but it's all where he can't see it all the cleaning has been done and now this is about to happen and it's very 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 necessary for me to be in the bath today <laughs> so i finished doing all the tidying up hence my lovely clean house and yes i am watching the kardashians which seems to be a source of um conflict for people on here mainly men who then message me and tell me that I'm stupid but it's my one shitty thing that I watch on TV and like you know whatever we all have guilty pleasures mind that deal with it um but I'm gonna sit down for the first time today I sound like my mum we always laugh at my mum that she says she never sits down that's how I feel these days um I'm gonna pick my nails ready for Christmas I'm gonna use this Rimmel polish which have you ever seen a more Christmassy polish? Um, it is called. What is it called? Glitter High Coverage Ruby Crush. It's just Christmas nail polish. Um, and glitter lasts quite well on me. So I'm going to do my nails now, ready for Christmas. And I'm going to sign off here. Um, it's been fun <laughs> vlogging all of this. It's been quite manic because I've had a lot of stuff to do. Um, but I've enjoyed doing this weekly and I will continue to do weeklies as we go along. If it's something you're interested in, let me know. If you hate it, I won't do it anymore. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great, great Christmas. I'll be back after Christmas with a few um, videos like I've got a December faves and a few other bits and stuff. Um, and I'm going to keep you updated with restaurant stuff as well. So we're going to be vlogging more of that in the upcoming weeks, which is really exciting because I know a lot of you really enjoyed that. So thank you. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a great, great Christmas. I can't wait for it to be Christmas purely because I can't wait to not be at work and let me tell you another thing as well any of you who work in retail this time of year I I don't know how you do it I don't know how you have the patience because today has been quite a trying day for me um, and I'm quite patient generally and I love kind of being in customer service and that kind of thing but I I struggled today it was it was hard um so yeah anyway Hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. Lots and lots of love from both of us. Paul's um, actually playing on the PlayStation with a friend of his who they do it like once a week. Um, so he's he's doing that. So I won't go and bother him now, but I'm sure he wishes you a Merry Christmas as well from both of us. And we are very excited to share, share the restaurant journey with you and see what it's like in the new year. So I will um, see you on the other side of Christmas. Merry Christmas!